Chapter 8 Selection and Transform Select Selection Tool As soon as you tap on the Selection Tool, you can make a freehand selection on your canvas. When active, the icon becomes blue. On the bottom toolbar there are several selection modifiers that are now disabled. Once you've made a selection, they become active. You can make a selection by drawing a line with your finger or stylus. You can lift up your finger or stylus and continue your selection. This is a freehand selection, but you can also tap on the screen to place corner notes. The selection line has a dashed line. You can vary your selection with drawing the selection and by placing the polygon nodes with a tap on the canvas. Close the selection by joining the beginning and end node. Selection Mask When you close your selection, you can see that everything outside your selection will be masked by diagonal lines. Selection Modifiers the selection modifiers are now active. With the first modifier you can copy your selection to a new layer. Make new layer from selection. Copy the selection you have just made to a new layer by pressing on the first icon on the bottom bar. Add selection. When you want to add some points to your selection, press on the plus sign. Now you can continue refining your selection. Subtract selection. Press on the minus icon to subtract from your existing selection. This is great if you've made a mistake in your selection and want to reselect a section from your selection. Inverse Selection When you've made your selection, you can also inverse it by pressing on the Inverse icon. You can go back to your original selection by pressing on the Inverse icon again. Clear Selection Tap on the X to clear your selection. When you haven't finished an added selection, Clear will first clear the non-committed selection and then the committed selection. Undo and redo. You can undo and redo your selection by tapping on the undo and redo button. You can also use the undo and redo finger gestures. Stave tip. If you have deleted or finished your selection, you can reload it by pressing and holding the selection icon for a moment. On the top of your screen you get a notification, Mask Reloaded. Automatic. When you select Automatic, you can make selections by tapping on your canvas. When you press on the image and hold your finger or stylus on the screen, you can increase the threshold of your selection by dragging it from left to right. Procreate will remember the automatic threshold setting you've made before. You can always make a new threshold. In automatic you can only use the add selections to the layer button, the inverse selection button, the clear button and the undo and redo. Stave tip. It's best to use automatic with more graphical images. It's easier to select parts that are flattened than images that have lots of structure and nuances. You can tap on the screen and use the threshold for one section of your image and add another selection by tapping on the screen again. Adjusting the Section Mask UI When you're not seeing the diagonal lines or if they're not strong enough, you can adjust the opacity in Actions. Tap on the Actions button and go to Prefs. On the bottom of the drop-down menu, you see Selection Mask Visibility. Adjust the opacity of your mask 
by using the slider. Transform. You can transform an object that's on your layer or a selection you have just made. Tap on the transform button. When the button is blue, transform is active. Around your selection you see a dotted line with eight blue nodes. On the bottom bar you see several modifiers. Magnetics. When you press on magnetic, the text lights up blue. When magnetics is on, you see blue guides pop up when you drag your selection around the canvas. On the top of the screen you see a readout of the degree you move your selection. Uniform transform. If you want to scale your object evenly, you can pinch inside the object with the anchor of your object in the middle. Using magnetics. When you tap on a corner node, you can make your object smaller or bigger as well. The anchor of your object will be on the opposite node. When you rotate two fingers on your screen, you can rotate the object but the rotation will be in increments of 15 degrees. When your object is very small, you can also pinch in and out outside your object. Freeform. Non-uniform transform. You can also stretch and squash your object when you drag the middle nodes. Tap on freeform to make a non-uniform transform. The pivot point will be on the opposite side from where you are dragging your node from. Transform modifiers. On the bottom bar there are four quick modifiers you can use. Flip horizontal. Tap on flip horizontal to flip the object horizontal. Tap on it again if you want to flip it back. Flip vertical. Tap on Flip Vertical to flip the object vertical. Tap on it again if you want to flip it back. Rotate. Tap on the Rotate button to rotate the object clockwise in 45 degrees. Fit to Screen. Tap on Fit to Screen to fill the object to the width and height of your canvas. Revert. Tap on Revert to revert your transform. Undo and Redo. Tap on the Undo and Redo button to undo and redo your transform. You can also do this by using the Undo and Redo gestures. Advanced Transform. Distort. You can also drag your transform into perspective when in freeform mode. Press on a node and hold it for a second. Then drag it to a point you want. You see that the selection box is out of whack. Press and drag the other nodes until you have dragged your object into the perspective you want. Shear. You can also shear an object. When you are in the freeform mode, tap and hold a middle blue node and then drag it to the left or right. You now can shear your object while the bottom part remains in place. You can do this on all sides of your object. Stave tip. If you for instance want to drag a structure or painting into perspective, import a flat image or draw a flat image and then drag it into perspective. Nudge. Tap outside the transform selection and move the object to the left, right and up and down. The more you are zoomed in, the smaller the notch will be. Zoom Pan Shortcut While transforming your object, it's also possible to zoom in and zoom out. Tap and hold the transform button and zoom in and out. After that you can continue your transform.